Anonymous asks, are there ways we can create rules in emails to have certain emails forwarded to certain email addresses? Let's talk about how to have certain emails forwarded to email addresses. There is a very cool trick to be able to do this inside of Gmail. So if I open up my Gmail mailbox, we have the ability to set forwarding emails or emails that are auto in our mailboxes. So if I click onto my settings here, I'll go to all settings, and then there's a forwarding menu, right? Now I can choose different email addresses that I forward mail to. And if I want to forward every single email in my mailbox, I would choose to forward an incoming copy of all email to one of these and you can choose what you do, right? You might wanna like mark it as read or archive it or whatever. Now, you might use that in the instances where you've got a personal Gmail account and you wanna forward all your stuff into a business account or vice versa. You've got a business account and you wanna forward all your stuff to a Gmail account. Be careful your, your staff don't do this because that's a security risk, right? They could take a business account and forward it all to something outside your company. Be careful with that, but you can choose to lock this down via an administrator policy in the admin panel if you want. If you go to the admin panel and you search forwarding, here we go, automatic forwarding. You can choose who can access forwarding and who can't access forwarding. So here you go, automatic forwarding. Uh, you may choose to say, right, people in the executive organizational unit are allowed to use forwarding, uh, but everyone else in the company is not allowed to use forwarding. And then you, know, you use your organizational unit policies and permissions to do that and apply it just for certain groups of staff. I've got a million videos on policies on the channel so you can go and watch those. But if you want to forward only certain emails, well, there's also a cool way of doing that too. But we have to do that through a filter. So first, you need to set up the email as a forwarding email. Step number one is to come in here, add a forwarding address, you in input your address, you verify that you own the address, and then you've got it available for you as a forwarding address. But we're not gonna click this forward a copy option, we're gonna leave forwarding disabled here. Otherwise, it's gonna forward everything. We only wanna forward some things. So then we're gonna go back to the inbox and we're gonna run a search and we're gonna create a filter for the emails that we want to forward. Now, maybe I wanna filter emails from asana.com. I can filter my messages and I can say, right, anything that includes the words asana.com, you know, you may choose to filter based on a domain or it might be anything with the subject urgent you might wanna forward those. Of course, you can use all the search features here. So like, you know, I want Asana, but I don't want any of these summary emails, right? So I could say, all right, it doesn't have the word, it doesn't have the word summary. And that'll just show me emails from Asana that don't include the word summary. Okay, great. So then I'm gonna hit this little button up here to go to the advanced options up the top. And then I'm gonna click create a filter. And when I click create a filter, I can set all my standard filtering stuff. Maybe I wanna label it so it's got a special label. Maybe I want it to skip the inbox. I don't want it for me. I want it just for someone else. But check it out. We can now choose to forward it to a certain address. Here we go. Forward it to one of the addresses that we've got set up in our forwarding options. Now, you've got a link there to create a new address. I didn't even know that was there. If you want to add a forwarding address, you can do it right from here. But if you've already done step one and added a forwarding address, then you just choose the address you want to forward to. Boom, hit create filter. Bob's your uncle, you're good to go. So there you go, that is how you filter certain emails, but not all emails in Gmail. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.